What's up guys? So in today's video, we are doing another get ready with me. Um, I look crazy. I literally had just, well, actually, you know, I woke up like an hour ago, but um, I've been in bed ever since. I'm still in my pajamas and my hair is in the same bun that I fell asleep with last night. But today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to be the baddest bitch at the dinner table on Thanksgiving. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Yes, I am filming this video the day that it is being uploaded. Let's hope I get it up in time. Um, I don't really know. It's 11.30 and I need this video up by 4 so we'll see. But yeah, today I'm going to be doing a hair. I'm going to be telling you guys like how I'm going to be doing my hair, which I never do. And then I'm going to be doing like some makeup and all that stuff. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about in this video is my hair. Um, it looks ugly right now. Today I really wanted to do a half up, half down, like curled style with my extensions um i get a lot of questions about what extensions i use when i do wear extensions in the summertime i didn't really wear extensions because it's too hot in arizona um but now we're getting to the colder months so i can whip out my extensions again and i got brand new extensions so my extensions are from bellamy which i have mentioned in the past i've been using bellamy hair extensions for about a year now um but mine are in this cute little case because you know i'm trying to keep care of them my last two sets of extensions i literally I've just been so rough with them like I would just throw them on the ground and like I wouldn't really take care of them but these ones are a lot more expensive and these ones are a lot more nice so basically these are my hair extensions right here I have the 22 inch Bugatti um, hair extensions which is 340 grams of hair which if you know anything about extensions you know that, that is a lot typically a lot of people only put like 240 in their hair I'm not gonna show you guys a hair tutorial because a hair tutorial is just not my thing I'm also not really good at explaining hair tutorials if you guys do want a hair tutorial on this look um, you could honestly I'll, I might do it if you guys really want it um, but you can just google hair half up half down with the extensions that's exactly what I did because I did not know how to do this but yeah um, if you guys want to purchase extensions from Bellamy you guys can use my coupon code baddie for 10% off of the website so they also gifted me this six in one complete curler um, set and it basically just looks like this it has six different wands and this this is the most a convenient thing ever especially because it's kind of annoying having like 400 curling irons but I always want like a bunch of different ones so this is very very convenient the holiday season is also coming up um definitely makes a really good Christmas gift so if you guys are interested in purchasing this you guys can use my code abaddy6 this set right here is originally $2.99 but if you use my code abaddy6 you will get this set for only $109 but yeah I'm basically going to go do my hair and then I will come back and we will get into the get ready with me like makeup portion of this video okay Okay, you guys, so I just put my extensions in and I curled them. They look like this. I did like a little half up, half down. I'm really bad at hair. And so this is not the best half up, half down ever. Um, I don't specialize in hair. I don't really even know what I specialize in, to be honest. But um, yeah, this is basically the finished product right here. I basically already did the base of my face. I did my eyebrows, I did my foundation, I did my concealer, my bronzer, my powder, all that stuff. It's literally the same in every single video, and so I just started to not do it um but we're gonna do the eyes i was thinking about doing like an orangey purpley cranberry look i don't really know what i'm gonna do i'm kind of just gonna mess around with some colors i basically bought this morphe palette like two months ago um or whenever it came i don't really know when it came out but whenever it came out i purchased it right away and i just like never used it ever um so we're gonna use it basically for the first time this is what it looks like. It's so freaking gorgeous. It's pretty. Yeah, we're going to use it. I don't really know exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm basically just going to teach you guys um, how to look good on Thanksgiving. Because I feel like Thanksgiving time... You know, it's that time where your family always asks a lot of questions. And they're like, you got a boyfriend? You going to school? How much money you got in your bank account? They be asking all these questions. And you're just like, please shut up. But I mean, like, if you look really good, then maybe they just won't ask you questions. They'll just be like, oh my god, you're so beautiful. And I'm mesmerized by your beauty. I'm kind of just playing with colors. I've been trying to film a get ready with me and do, like, one of these for the last few days. But I just feel like I forgot how to do makeup. With the weather change and all that stuff, um, my skin has been freaking out recently. My skin has just been extremely dry. And so foundation just looks very gloppy and it's very clumpy. And today it doesn't really look that clumpy. Like usually it's flaking off in this journal area and it's been flaking off for the last few days. So I've just been annoyed and I haven't made a video. If you're a girl that loves makeup and loves doing makeup, you know how freaking annoying it is. 
when your foundation and all that stuff just looks cakey. It just makes you literally not want to do anything. The beginning process or the beginning stages of my eyeshadow and all that stuff never look good, but at the end it usually turns out because I just blend, 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 blend. But yeah, I'm basically really excited for Thanksgiving. I love eating. You guys know that. Maybe I'll, maybe I'm not going to do like an orange look. Maybe I'm just going to do like a purpley type beat look. I don't know. We'll see how this turns out in the end. But I'm so excited for Thanksgiving, except for I'm pretty boring with Thanksgiving. I'm a very picky eater, as many of you guys know, if you pay attention to me, if you follow my channel, all that stuff. But I'm pretty boring when it comes to Thanksgiving, because I only really like, like, turkey, mashed potatoes, bread. That's literally my Thanksgiving plate. And, you know, everyone likes sweet potatoes and stuffing and all that stuff, and, like, literally all that stuff just freaks me out, and it does not sound appetizing. So I'm basically just going to do a little update on my life. I know these colors all look crazy um, and I'm kind of just like patting a bunch of colors. I like to blend at the very very end and so I kind of just like pat a bunch of colors and it honestly looks sloppy like the eyes look very very sloppy but I promise at the end it'll look it'll look a lot better. But update on my life um uh, so for like the last week or whatever I've been wanting to buy a TV because I have a very very small flat screen TV in my room. Everybody in my house has big TVs and I was the one with the small TV and so I was kind of just over it. I don't really watch TV that much. I usually watch things on my iPad because um, I can't really see far distances. Um, it's really hard for me to see like super far distances. And my TV is extremely small. And so every single time that I watch TV, I wouldn't see it clearly unless I wore glasses. Which is annoying. Because when I'm sitting in bed, like I don't want to wear my glasses, you know? And so I've been thinking about buying a TV for quite a while. But, um realized how expensive TVs are like literally why are TVs so expensive especially the big ones and especially good brands I mean there are like some shitty brands that you can get but I wanted like you know a nicer brand TV so I was basically debating between a 55 inch that's what I was set on I was gonna do a 55 inch because my old TV is a 32 inch too small literally ridiculously small um like my little sister has a bigger TV than I. I think my little sister has like a 55 inch or something like that and I was like how does my 13 year old sister have a better TV than I do? Basically, that was the logic of my thinking. I basically decided to it and I wanted to buy a TV and so I bought a TV and um, it's right there. Um, it's literally too big for my room, but um, yellow swag, you know what I'm saying. Um, it's a 65 inch and I really love it. It's the most expensive thing I've ever bought in my whole entire life. Um, so, I already peed in my bank account literally after this purchase when they told me the total. I was like, you say what? Is, is how much? What, can, can, you, can you use that in a sentence because I'm confused. Um, I show the comparison of my old TV and my new TV, but I love it. It's great. I'm literally never going to leave my room. I definitely cannot wait until I'm done filming this video and so I can just sit in bed and watch TV all day. Um, you know, it's the Christmas season. Well, actually, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. It's about to be after tomorrow, it's Christmas. But the line to get this TV, holy crap. I went to Costco to get my TV. I don't know if there's Costco's everywhere. I think there is, but I'm really not sure. Um, but yeah, I basically went to Costco and it was ridiculously crazy. And then the people that were behind, my parents in line, because, like, I had to stand to the side because the TV was too bag big to, like, you know, try and go through the aisles. And so I just, like, my parents waited in line for me, and then I waited until I could, like, bring it up, you know? But, like, people behind them were like, wow, this is a really, really big TV, like, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, your living room's gonna look great. And they go, oh, it's for her bedroom. I wanted to get a 70-inch so I could have the biggest TV in the whole house, but, um, a 65, uh, it doesn't even really fit in my room that well. <laughs> so I'm glad that I didn't get the 70 um, inch. I've been really into like colorfully, more colorfully looks recently. I want to start like doing like makeup tutorials where you know like I have that nice like little like backdrop set up because I have a backdrop and all that stuff. But I just feel like my brand and my channel is just a lot more ratchet. So I just came to the realization that um, I bought this Amir the other day literally for my get ready with me's and so I didn't have to use this little tiny mirror and I just saw it right now so of course the eyeshadow is basically done and I just realized I also really need to get my eyebrows waxed I think that's what's throwing me off what's been throwing me off on my makeup is my eyebrows are so bad right now like I really don't know if you can tell but there's like there's legitimately like 30 hairs just 30 hairs that need to be plucked, but I don't like plucking, and so I go get them whacked. Also, my baby hairs are literally going everywhere. I'm literally so sorry for this. I'm doing absolutely nothing today. I'm literally just doing this video to have fun. I'm literally just doing this to do my makeup. I'm not going anywhere, so my hair and my makeup looks bad. It doesn't matter. So um, I'm going to do the lid color now. We're going to do the lid color, and I'm going to see if it all pulls together. I mean, like, when the eyeshadow gets put on, that's when we'll really know. 
I mean, the eyelashes. When the eyelashes get put on, that's when you really know if your look is savable or not. So I'm going to go in with this red glitter shade. I feel like there's just, like, low-key too much red in this look. Like, did I want to do a full-on red look? Mm. Okay, at this point, I'm kind of just mixing all the purple glitters in this palette for my lid shade. Until I get the color that I like. Not bad. Not my best, but not bad. Okay, so now underneath my eye, I'm basically just going to go in with, like, my crease colors. And I'm just going to put this underneath my eyeball. Whenever I do my under eye colors, I like, on one eye, I'm like, oh, it looks so pretty. Like, what the heck colors did I just dip into? I feel like when I put my lashes on, like, this will look so much better. I should always look nine bajillion times better. I feel like I look like Halloween. Like, I feel like this is a very Halloween-esque makeup style. Purple and orange. With my black freaking hair. So, that's basically, I think, it for the eyes right now. I'm basically going to go put on mascara, put on my eyelashes, and I'm going to come back and we're going to see how that looks and we're going to see what we got to tweak, okay? Okay. So, I have applied the lashes. Um, it's very dramatic. This is a very dramatic look. I feel like the eyeshadows are dramatic and then I added these lashes on and they just look so much more dramatic. Oh, while I was doing that, I applied an eyeliner um, on my waterline, which I never do. This is the Urban Decay Glide On Pencil in the shade Alkaline. It's just this nice, like, little, like, purple color. Put that on my waterline. Um, I don't really know how I feel about it. I kind of like it. I think it makes it a little bit more vampy. Um, but yeah, we're basically going to apply some blush and some highlight. Then we're going to do the lips, and then the look will be completed. We'll be taking this Tarte Amazonian Clay blush in the shade party which is just a really really nice light pink and i'm just going to be applying that onto my cheeks so we did that now we're going to go and apply a highlighter so i literally always apply my amreezy highlighter and you guys know that but today i'm gonna be doing a different one this is the sam marcel highlighting palette and i love this stuff so much it's so pretty it comes with six shades and i'm basically just going to be using these two bottom ones right here and then I'm also just going to highlight the tip of my nose because I love nose highlight. Nose highlight is probably like my favorite thing. Go like that and then I'm just going to take a little bit in my inner corners just so we don't look very dead. Next I'm going to be applying my MAC lip pencil in the shade Boldly Bare and I'm just going to line my lips. The eyes are so dramatic that I didn't want to do anything dramatic on the lips. You totally could put a maroon lipstick if you really wanted to on. There's a hair on my face somewhere. But I just wanted to keep it simple. Next, I'm going to be applying this Buxom uh, Lip Gloss in the shade Celeste, which is just a really, really pretty, like, pinky color. And I'm just going to take that on top of my lips. But yeah, you guys, this is basically it for the finished product, the finished look. This is what it looks like. Very dramatic. This is the hair, which I've never done before. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if you guys are interested in Bellamy, um, you can use my code BATTY for 10% off the whole entire site. Or if you're interested in just the um, curling irons, you guys can use my code BATTY6 and you'll get the curling irons for $109. $109, six curling irons, which is an amazing deal. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment down below with some ideas. It is Christmas season. By the time that you see this video, it's literally Christmas season. Um, yeah. I want to do a lot of Christmas videos. I love Christmas videos. So if you guys have any Christmas-themed videos that you guys want me to do, comment them down below. Do not forget to click the subscribe button so you guys can join our little family if you guys are new here. But yeah, I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys. Been living this lavish, yes I've been had it I'm a real princess, these bitches is cat